Hello and welcome back. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I've been meaning to do a video for a couple of weeks now and I haven't got around to it so my apologies for being horribly late. Um, there are reasons. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on, sort of work-related drama um, and thus I haven't been really feeling up to talking to anybody. Um, but things are improving and I will be leaving my current job um, very soon, <laughs> the end of next week which is great and then I'm starting a new job in January so that's exciting. Um, also other changes are the fact that I'm no longer a member of one of the book clubs that I regularly was taking part in. Um, there are long explanations as to why that is um, which I won't tell you because I'll be here for hours um, but needless to say I've just made some decisions that I want to focus on the one book club. Um, so uh, some of my plans for November have changed which is why we haven't had a TBR video this month because I was originally taking part in an event which I'm no longer taking part in and that had prompts and obviously had quite a big influence um, on my potential TBR which I am no longer reading. Um, so I just wanted to update all of you as to why I haven't been here um, and how to chat about some of the books that I'm reading in November even though it's halfway through the month. Um, yet again, I seem to be doing TBRs halfway through the month. That's not helpful. <laughs> um, so I'm just trying to think, what have I read so far this month? I have read Throne of Glass um, by Sarah J Mass. First book in this series. I can't remember what the whole series is called, um, but really, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, loved the character development. Yeah, looking forward to the next one of those. Um, would quite like to read them now, only I don't have the book yet. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have to order that one. Um, and then I have read the first Robin Hobb, uh, An Assassin's Apprentice. Uh, listen to that on an audiobook, so I don't have a physical copy to show you, and my copy of Throne of Glass is downstairs. Um, so I read, yes, um, Assassin's Apprentice, and I've now started The Royal Assassin, which is the second one in the series. I started it straight after the first one, which tells you that I really liked the first one. It was a five star read for me. Absolutely loved the story, um, the plot twists, the turns, the fantasy world, the way it's put together, um, the story of the main character and how he develops over time and, and the people that he comes into contact. I'll try not to give spoilers here. Um, read it. It's a really, really good book. If you like fantasy and you like kind of epic tales, I would say, yeah, definitely a good read. So I'm currently reading a book called Heart Shaped Box, which is by Joe Hill. It's his debut novel. Um, I'm about halfway through it. Um, so far, so good. Quite like it. It's a little bit predictable, um, but then it's a first it's a first novel. So I can kind of forgive him for that, particularly with the heritage that he has being Stephen King's son. Um, it's creepy. It's it's what you would expect. <laughs> um, but I am enjoying it and I'm, I'm intrigued to see how it ends because there's this ghost that is not very pleasant um to the main character and yeah i'm intrigued to see where it will go so and then i've got a couple of books that i've pulled out to show you because i don't actually have a tbr this month at all i'm kind of just going with the flow reading what i fancy at the time um but i've got a couple that i would like to get to the first one is the house on cerulean on the cerulean sea i can't even say it by T.J. Clune. I have heard so many people talk about this book and about how it's like a hug in a book, that they really enjoyed it, that it was just what they wanted when they were feeling a bit not so great. Um, I've had a rough couple of weeks to be perfectly honest and I could really do the hug. <laughs> so um, my, my partner gives me hugs and my dog gives me hugs but in book form a hug would also be great. So I'm planning to read this one next. Um, I just need something nice and pleasant and inspiring and hopefully it will like improve my mood so that would be really good that's the next one that I'm hoping to get to and this was actually a present as well so that's even better this is gifted to me um by one of my lovely friends from my old book club um from Abby so Abby if you're watching thank you I'm finally getting round to it um and I can't wait to read this one then we have another one that I've seen doing the rounds recently, although it's been out a while. Um, this is Jodie Picoult, or Jodie Picoult, I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, um, A Spark of Light. 
my mum recommended this one to me um this is actually my mum's copy of the book and i have had it for ages and <laughs> my mum's coming to visit at christmas so i thought i'd best read it before she gets here so i can give it back um but also i've seen it doing the rounds and it kind of reminded me that i had a copy and yeah quite quite intrigued to read this one um it it deals with some difficult um conversations as most jodie pickholt books do i've read quite a few of hers um i've enjoyed the ones i've read so i will probably enjoy this one as well and then again another book of my mother's <laughs> you can tell where i get my bookwormness from um my mum also has bookcases like this <laughs> floor to ceiling jobs so the other one i'm hoping to get to before the end of the month there probably will be some others but these are the sort of three that i've identified for now is this one this is dark tides by philippa gregory it's the second in the series the first one was tidelands which i read around this time last year um again i've had this for a while i haven't got to it yet i haven't got to as many historical fiction novels as i would like to this year um but it's a genre that's developing for me and I have enjoyed her previous books that I've read. I haven't read all of them. I'm not that great. Um, there's a lot of Philippa Gregory novels. But looking forward to finding out how the story progresses in this. I absolutely love the cover as well. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how pretty this is? I'm quite jealous that this is my mum's book. I might not want to give it back. <laughs> um, just having a look at the, the actual book under the cover, which is just a nice nice red that's really quite pretty but um i love the artwork so yeah i'd be interesting to see how how things progress in in this one following tide lands tide bank was a bit different for philip gregory in my opinion it was a little bit unusual but i did enjoy it so i'm hoping that i will enjoy this one as well and then i will probably add some other bits and pieces but um that's where i'm at at the moment i don't want to give too many because i'm kind of mood reading at the moment um my mental health is joyous currently um <laughs> it always is this time of year um so i'm just trying to go with what i need um in terms of what i'm reading things that aren't going to make me feel sad or aren't too gloomy so she who's currently reading horror i read too much horror um but yeah that's where i've been that's where i'm at um, I hope all of you are doing well and that things are going well for you and also I just wanted to say if you're still here and you're still watching then thank you ever so much and also if you're new and you've recently subscribed also thank you very much for being here and I'm sorry it's been a little while between the last video and this one um, I am trying to post weekly but uh, hasn't quite gone to plan <laughs> as has happened once or twice before um, because I've got a bit of a creative block at the moment in terms of what I want to film about obviously book content but what specifically is a bit more tricky um, and I was wondering whilst I'm at it if any of you who were here from the beginning and remember the lush diaries would be interested in my doing something very similar it's with a different company who does bath products it's called my little eco shop it's an online eco-friendly vegan friendly lovely business that I've been um buying things from for some time they have no idea that i'm talking about them i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that i just like the company i think they're great and i'd quite like to share it with you but obviously it's not book related so i wanted to see what you thought um if you've got an opinion drop me a comment below and i will get back to you and i will see you in the next video take care everybody bye <laughs>